<laughs> Good morning, chat. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> My freaking neck hurts so bad. I woke up with like a, what is it? A creak. creak. It's a creak. 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 I woke up with a creek in my neck. A crook is like a criminal. A creek is a river, so what are you talking about? Okay, yeah, and a creek is not in your neck. Oh, Anyways, <laughs> just woke up. Kevin wants to go to the gym this morning. Do you still want to go? Yes, yeah. He says we're going to go to the gym this morning, even though my usual gym days are the days that he's not off work, but today he is off work. He wants to go to the gym. So I'm like, okay, if you really want to go, we can go today on a Monday. Tuesday. Oh shit, it's Tuesday. I know for sure I need to like straighten up the house today. Kevin has started his like streaming journey. Why are you over there blushing? Look at him. Aww. Yeah, he started his streaming journey yesterday. He started streaming. I hop on Fortnite with him and sometimes our friends and stuff and we'll stream and we'll play y'all visit his twitch i'm gonna put it on the screen gonna do that today i have an appointment for something at two i need to call the groomers to see what time i need to drop off stormy and i know i gotta clean the house but that's pretty much all i have planned for today i already said that but i'm about to start getting ready to apparently go to the gym if i can get kevin out of this bed he's the one not getting up bro i already been up I got up and then I laid back down. <laughs> That's my toxic trait, but I'm actually about to go take a hot bath because my neck is killing me. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch. I rearranged this room. Sorry that like the lighting is kind of off. Turn this off. That probably made it worse. But um, I haven't put my lamps in here yet. So literally all we're working with is the LED lights and the little bit of light that's coming in from the window. It's 7.30. Or actually no, it's seven. Getting dressed for the gym. I don't know what I should wear. Wait, what is it? Chilling like a villain? Okay, should we wear that? Maybe, I don't know. Got it from Walmart. This room used to be down there, but I moved it to this room. And this used to be my makeup room because I'm going to start streaming soon. And I wanted the room to be down there. But anyways, um, I'll be back when I'm dressed. You already ready? You wearing Vans? Yeah. Wait for the gym. Give me a second. What's she doing, y'all? Let's go! Go, 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 go! We called and they told us that we need to drop off Stormy now at the groomer, so we're gonna take her there. Come on. <laughs> Give me a phone. Yep. Yes, sir. Sorry. Mm -hmm. See ya. Kevin just knocked over my whole freaking camera. Look at Stormy. Why is she trying to be up here in the vlog, Stormy? This is how she's looking right now. She's gonna go get groomed. She's gonna get fully shaved. Cause right now she's looking kind of crazy. Don't leave me, Stormy. I should got on the biker shorts. Okay, y'all, Aisha's finna drive. We're done at the gym. Aisha wants to go to Martin's because apparently she has a paper that, <laughs> that says she won a free TV. Don't do me. Oh, wait, no, don't because they're gonna steal your TV. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you won it? I thought you had a chance to win it. Yeah, she she said she won. I think it's a scam, but. It may be, but let's just take the risk. Aisha, you're kind of gullible go. to scam sometimes. Just Shut sometimes. Sometimes. Girl, I told you about the time I got scammed. You <laughs> just think I'm, I'm always getting fucking scammed. Yeah, we'll let y'all know when we get there. Girl, don't let them know shit. <laughs> we leave with a TV. Damn. Is it even gonna fit in this car? How big is this TV? It's not going six nowhere. Inch. This is not gonna fit in this car, bro. Okay, yes. but we'll update y'all later. Y'all see those tents right there? That's apparently where she can go and get her free TV. This is a scam. Y'all can go ahead and hang it up. 
That's what made me mad. Like, why y'all sitting Don't tease us, this ain't. Y'all, guess what? The TV's so big, it won't even fit in the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We literally went in there. Those people are beating around the bush, like literally not giving us any information. They're like, you have to buy a car. You got to get it. And we're like, do you have to get a car to be a winner or like to get the prize? They're like, everybody's a winner. Like, what do yeah, you mean say, everybody's a winner? You get the prize regardless. Like, yeah, yeah, you get a prize regardless. Okay, where's my TV? Then he wants to get the, the paper and then he wants to be like, okay, well, your numbers have to match up with the numbers up here. He matched up the number. Yeah, well, you're not a winner. Yeah, with. he could have said that to begin with. He wanted us to get that freaking Jeep. Everybody want a damn Jeep? <laughs> Everybody's a winner. She had a choice between these freaking $5 freaking speaker or the $5 headphones. And they got her freaking social, like, no. $20 million company, but you got me a little bitty speaker. Wireless could've earbuds could have been AirPods deal. or something. Right? That could have been a JBL or something. JB, like, yeah, whatever it is. Like, a Beats. Like, no, this is literally, like I should say, she says it's five and below. This is Shein. Like, what are y'all doing? Cancel GMC. <laughs> if they try to get y'all, don't go up there. They're just going to try to get you to buy a car. We should have known. Yeah. But I knew. I was already skeptical. But at least we went up there just to see. We did it for y'all. We did it for the vlog. Y'all, we went and got Stormy and <laughs> got her. I don't even know who this dog is. Like, who is this dog? Wrong dog? Yeah, they gave us the wrong dog, bro. <laughs> we went to the tax place and we started on our taxes. The guy there was like super sweet. I haven't really been vlogging just because nothing has really happened. It's literally 2.57. We have not eaten all day. So we're about to head home and cook some lunch. Stormy, oh my God, she's just so ugly. I love you, Stormy, but you. Good morning. I apologize that I barely vlogged yesterday. <sighs> I have just been so out of it. I went and I started the process of filing my taxes. Yeah, I'm very late on that. I'm still trying to figure out all of, you know, taxing, adulting, all of that kind of stuff. And obviously I'm doing a trash job at it. Everything's just really confusing. So yeah, I went and did that. Kevin's family came over for a bit. I got a freaking iced coffee and I regret getting the iced coffee before my appointment because tell me why we were working on our taxes my stomach was over there gurgling i had to go to the restroom kevin had to go to the restroom and we had coffee on an empty stomach zero out of ten do not recommend <laughs> we had to poo okay besties i love that today's sponsorship could not have came at a better time you poop i poop we all poop it's part of being a human but sometimes it can be a little hard to Poop. Please do not count how many times I say poop in this segment of today's video. Anyways, that is why I have colon broom. Really though, y'all know that I've been trying to set healthy habits, eat cleaner, just have a healthier lifestyle overall. And one thing that I was slacking on was my gut health until I tried colon broom. Ever since I've been putting colon broom into my water, my bowel movements have been regular. Colon broom works as a prebiotic and it nourishes healthy gut bacteria. And y'all know I'm not much of a skincare girly, but y'all always say my skin looks good and colon broom helps improve your skin health. All you have to do is add one scoop to 12 to 14 fluid ounces of water. Mix well and drink immediately 30 minutes to an hour before your meal. You're also going to want to drink an additional glass of water. Also this stuff is strawberry flavored and it tastes so good. I actually really love it. You're going to want to take one serving a day for a week and then after that first week you're going to increase that to two servings a day. This has helped me so much with my constipation, bloating, everything's just regulated and that's all I really want. If you you guys are interested in colon broom click my link down below and use code sierra 10 and you'll get an additional 10 percent off and thank you so much colon broom for sponsoring today's video also thank you for helping me poop then we went and got stormy then kevin streamed for about four hours i played fortnite with him if y'all don't follow his twitch you really need to is cyber kev with two r's go watch him stream sometimes i'm on there with him sometimes i'm not streaming is his thing he loves it he's always wanted to be a streamer i'm so happy for him because he's finally doing what he's always wanted to do like i'm just i'm proud of him anywho my house is literally disgusting also i have someone coming over to fix our windows in like three different rooms I'm gonna go ahead and start on cleaning. Also, if you see my house looking like terrible, messy, yes, I am embarrassed, but do not judge, please, because I'm getting this together right now. Here is my messy living room. I know one thing for sure, I wanna switch that couch with this couch, but first I'm gonna like clean up everything. Cause I mean, the cover's literally on the ground and I just washed this cover too. All of these boxes are just boxes that need to be burned. So I'm just gonna toss them in the corner. 
Don't ask me why my sticky bra is literally stuck to the couch on the sticky side. Like it's literally, it was stuck to the couch. Also, if y'all don't use these, these are literally a game changer. All you do, which mine is a little dirty now. I bought a new one. I guess we're okay. <laughs> but basically you just like stick it onto your boobs and then it's like you're wearing a strapless bra, but it just like holds everything together. And it's also not like super padded and it kind of works like a push up, but it's just not uncomfortable. If you're wanting to wear like tank tops this summer and you don't want your bra to show because it literally sometimes can ruin your outfit, get a sticky bra. A bag of uneaten chips that I was gonna eat last night, but I didn't. Some mail. I'm gonna put on some music and finish cleaning everything really quickly because I have so much stuff to do that like, I just, I can't. Oh gosh, how am I gonna move this? What the heck? I'm just gonna choose to ignore all the trash on the ground. I'll get that next time I move the couches. You can't even tell from this angle. I mean, you can see the mess, but you can't even see the depth of the mess. This is our bedroom. It's very messy. This is one of the rooms that they are going to have to be in to change the window. The window is over here. So I'm gonna have to clean this entire room. I just have clothes everywhere. Cause like I said, I was moving like the rooms around. The extra stuff got put in this room for now. I have like my winter clothes that I took out that I have nowhere to store, but I'm just gonna have to like do something. Probably gonna get like a garbage bag and put my winter clothes in for now and just throw them in a closet we're gonna have to do something let's get started i'm gonna have to get rid of these huge lights like they just take up too much space for my small house y'all can't even see these clothes that i'm like kicking over to the side where is my phone oh my god this is kevin's apple watch where is my phone here's my apple watch please don't okay yeah it's not dead I just needed to change the song. The song I was listening to was not it. <sighs> Sorry. Taking a little break, here's your reminder for the day. If you haven't already, take your medication. I recently just started taking this anxiety medication. It put me on Buspirone. I'm still testing it out. Um, I don't know if I've really noticed a difference. Certain chemicals that I just like put in my body, like medication, literally make me like freak out. And I have depersonalization, if you know what that is. It's really scary. That's why I'm really scared when it comes to like taking medicines that I guess can alter like your brain even depression medications and stuff like that I hear can make you experience depersonalization because the way that it messes with your brain I am not an expert but I just recently started taking it so far I don't think I've really had any effects I've only been taking a half they say take a half for the first week I'm kind of scared to take the full pill because one night I decided to take the full pill it could have also been just because I was really really sleepy and when I'm really really sleepy I also kind of experience depersonalization and I freak out sometimes i started to like kind of freak out and luckily kevin was beside me and he was just telling me everything was okay and then i fell asleep right after that could have been because i was really sleepy or it could have been because i was experiencing that from the medication i really don't know but ever since then i have been scared if anyone is on this medication please comment your experience down below let me know how it does for you i've struggled with anxiety for so long and i was just like now's the time to take a step and try and do something about it yes i'm terrified that it it could not work and it could make it worse. I won't know until I try. I'm pushing myself and I'm trying to get help. And maybe me talking about this will make you guys who struggle with the same things feel not so alone, I guess. I was talking to Kevin and I was like, wow, I've never even thought about how much my anxiety affects my life. I remember I had plans to go to a movie theater. We had planned all day and then I just canceled last minute. And I felt like sh I really wanted to go, but it was just like, I could not. I was just thinking about all the people in the theater. I was thinking about every little thing. There's so many things in my life that I'm just so scared to do. Like every time I get in the car, I am terrified. No matter who's driving, if I'm driving, if someone else is driving, every time I get in a car, I am terrified that something bad is gonna happen to the point where like, I don't even go many places. Anytime we go places, usually Kevin's gonna be the one to drive because I'm just scared to drive in new areas. I'm scared to go on trips. I'm scared for other people to drive. I'm scared that I'm gonna get in an accident. Yeah, 
it's bad. If anyone has any tips for that, or if anyone used to struggle with that and they've somehow healed it, please leave some tips or some comments down below because I am tired of living life like this. Side note, I feel like I just needed that. I needed to let all of that out and talk to someone. So thank you guys for listening. I don't know, I just feel like I was kind of holding that in or I needed someone to talk to. So yeah, that feels really good. I think my next step is probably going to be trying to go to a therapist. Not sure on that yet either. I obviously want to try. It's just the area that I live in. It's hard to find good people. A lot of the things I do are online, like even for my anxiety, when I talk to the doctor and things, that's all online. So I would like to ha talk to a therapist in person because I feel like I'd be more comfortable with that. It's gonna be my next step to bettering my mental health. Lana Del Rey is being too loud in my ear. I'm sorry. I just switched the stuff from that rack to that one and I don't even like how it looks, so I'm switching them back. That was literally a waste of time. By the way, these are all of my clothes that I'm getting rid of. So um, if you wanna buy some clothes, go to my Poshmark. I use Poshmark because um, I have a label printer. For some reason, I cannot get my Depop labels to print the size of the little label sticker. Whatever. So Kevin's mom came by yesterday and she gave me like all of these vegetables. She has a garden and y'all know I've also been going to the farmer's market. I have some vegetables over here still from the farmer's market, but I'm gonna have to throw out a few of them. I let them sit for a little too long. I meant to put them in the fridge, but I'm keeping these peppers because I just bought them and I'm gonna put them in the fridge. I think the only one I have to get rid of is the zucchini that I didn't eat. And also these little jalapenos. I think some of them are salvageable. We're just gonna do a little garden haul because I haven't even looked to see what all she gave me so I already had these peppers and these corn from the farmers market that I got the other day corn I don't know it's not looking too good though we have some tomatoes some cucumber I'm not like a huge fan of cucumbers ironically because I love pickles but um, I will chop them up and eat them in a salad occasionally a green pepper I think these may be banana peppers but I'm not hundred percent sure oh my god huge cucumber look at that bruh I'm gonna wash everything off and put it in the fridge here are all the veggies we are working with you gotta put them all up also my counter is really dirty right now so like i'm gonna clean it in a minute but there are so many tomatoes i have got to make some guacamole maybe even try and attempt to make homemade salsa because i have these jalapenos as well from the farmer's market i don't know let me know if y'all have any ideas because i've been eating the heck out of some fresh fruit i mean some fresh vegetables but I'm cleaning out my fridge. Literally my fridge is like so short that I have to get a chair. I'm not gonna just like bend this entire time to clean this fridge. So I just pull over a chair from the kitchen table and clean out my fridge. Like, is that lazy? Maybe, but like, at least I'm doing something. At least I'm cleaning out my fridge. Like, damn, you gonna call it lazy for cleaning out her fridge like what just moving my eggs over to the wire tin because i just hate them being in this cardboard thing i don't even like the oof the sound bothers me so much so i put them in this little tin my fridge is so dirty that like i don't even want to show you i'm gonna figure something out with cleaning this fridge i don't know why is this playing on my playlist it's literally playing i just want to really 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 like no babe more tomatoes from the farmer's market because I didn't know Kevin's mom was gonna give me some. This is my box for my veggies that I recently bought, but I don't know how practical it is because it has a lid and I feel like the lid makes me not wanna use them. I love carrot, gotta keep those. This is a hot mess, but it's whatever. This is just gonna have to do for now. It's still kind of messy, but I do not care. It's better than it was. for real with me right now no like really be the for realists right now if you think someone pooped on my shirt they didn't this morning i went to the gym and i had on this like super cute nike top thank you nike for sending it to me did a good old workout got an iced coffee y'all know my order by now sugar-free iced mocha oat milk i got a small and apparently a small does not fit 
in the little cup holder in my car. So I go to pick it up and I drink it. The whole thing spills all over me. Finally, I secure the top on there, put it in the side cup holder because it kind of fits in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me why it still drips all over me again after the first time. Cut the cameras, babes. Literally, I have so much laundry I have to do anyways. I guess we're starting with whites. I'm gonna spray some stain remover and hope and pray that this comes out because this is literally my first time ever even wearing this shirt. And I'm gonna be very disappointed if it's ruined forever just cause I wanted a little iced coffee. Hello and welcome to my ugly laundry room. I have some OxyClean stain remover. Okay, what laundry detergent should we use today? I have fresh cotton, white jasmine, and my personal favorite, which is Kraken. It has such just a clean smell. Everyone always asks, where do I get my laundry detergents? It's from Buff City Soaps. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the fresh cotton just because we're almost out of that one. Here's how the container looks. Basically, it's a soap store, but you can go there and get them to make any of their soaps into a laundry detergent if you don't like their already pre-made laundry detergent. Fresh cotton Cotton is one that they already make into a laundry detergent and so is white jasmine but I like the Kraken soap so much that I got them to make it into a laundry detergent. You can also buy these little scoopers which is what I did so that I can get the perfect scoop of detergent every time. Girl, that was disgusting. And then I also have the fresh cotton scent booster that I'm gonna add in. No, this is not sponsored. I'm just obsessed with this stuff. Ever since I started washing my clothes with this, like they smell so good and it makes me wanna wash clothes more because washing clothes is one of my least favorite chores. But this makes me wanna do it more because it smells so good. You know, like whenever you buy a new Bath and Body Works lotion or something and you're like, ooh, it makes me wanna apply lotion when I should. Cause sometimes, you know, you get out the shower, you forget to apply the lotion. Y'all definitely check them out. I know that they make their stuff with like, oh, it's like more organic, all that. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I just like it because it smells good. I saw a tip on TikTok. If it doesn't get your clothes as clean, just put in a scoop of OxyClean, which is what I usually do, especially Kevin's clothes because he works in automotive and he has oil all over his clothes. They get really dirty. So I've been sipping on this coffee, but like it's literally disgusting. Um, I think they really forgot to add the chocolate or the syrup or something. Like it has no sugar. I know I said sugar free, but usually they do like the artificially sweetened. There was no chocolate taste. It literally tastes like coffee with oat milk. And I'm pretty sure they forgot to add the chocolate. It was disgusting. Anyways, I'm about to probably start washing some dishes and cooking some lunch soon. Cause I really need to get that done. <laughs> up with making lunch this is actually a meal kit meal but meal kits is what has literally taught me how to cook lately like I literally learned how to cook from meal kits so don't judge me for using meal kits now my meals are so bomb mm. I think I over salted the potatoes a little bit we have potatoes green beans and some pesto chicken with breadcrumbs I'm gonna do a little bit of this homemade honey mustard on the side so I went to the farmers market and got this honey mustard this guy makes it himself I think he's actually a teenager anyways it's really good I also got the sugar-free barbecue sauce honey mustard with potatoes chef's kiss green beans now to try this chicken which i did not get a knife to cut it so i'm just gonna have to like pick it up and bite it don't judge me y'all mm. i don't even know what pesto sauce is pesto sauce comment down below let me know because i literally i just don't even know what pesto is but i know it tastes good for my green beans i like them really really soft i know a lot of people like them steamed i don't like crunchy green beans i like them to be very soft also usually kevin comes home for lunch but today his job is like super busy so he's only taking a 30 minute lunch i did make extra food for him but he said he'll just eat it when he gets home Okay guys, that's where I'm gonna end off today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Colin Brew. A link will be down below and use my code Sierra10 to save some coin. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.